So what constitutes muscle growth? Now there are a few things that you should be aware of if the goal in the gym is getting more muscle mass. Now number one is load per unit on the bar. At the end of the day, we need more load on the bar in order for us to elicit more muscle growth. The second thing is load overall. And what I mean here is reps times sets times load on the bar gives you a volume load figure that over time you want to progress. The third one is the ability to keep tension whilst increasing load. If you can do this, you can express different strength qualities, different contraction types, and get an all round benefit to the muscle growth process. The fourth one is volume load across muscle groups. Now this is how you can get more volume load across different muscles through frequency. This is a great way to overload tissue and bring up lagging body parts. The fifth one is nutritional status. Now at the end of the day, if you are not eating in line with the goal of muscle growth, you're slightly pissing in the wind. So calories, proteins and carbs are really essential because they help you recover, stimulate and grow. And similarly, the sixth point is sleep. This is key. This is where we regenerate. All our hormones are reset and, and secreted so that we can begin the muscle growth process and also recover to do this process all over again. And finally, pulling the lot together in a process where you can achieve over time. If you don't put all of these together, you are stagnating the process of muscle growth. And this is the problem most people face. They don't put everything together in a nice periodized manner.